Hi guys, it's Venice Beach and I'm just coming today to give y'all a tutorial on this fun holiday look that I did. It's like Christmas freckles, I guess is what you can call it. Um, I thought this was really cute and something festive for me to do as like one of my first videos um, as a, like a makeup tutorial. So I kind of just like YouTube some tutorials on Christmas makeup to see which one I like the best. And I really liked uh, you know a ladies that i saw that did this so i wanted to like recreate it and do something fun for y'all so i did a tutorial on this look and how i achieved it so yeah if you want to see how i got this cute little festive holiday freckle very glowy cute little christmas i don't even know <laughs> if you want to see how i got this look just stay tuned and yeah just watch this light it make my skin look crazy Jesus, I know I look like a zombie, y'all, forgive me, but we finna get cute, don't worry, just, just wait on it. <laughs> first things first, I always put on powder first, like I'll let my skin bake before I start to do my makeup because my skin gets really oily and I noticed that like after a while my skin be like super shiny so I always do powder first and this is the Kiss Pro Touch Setting Powder. This is in the translucent color. Um, well, no, let me make sure. Make sure. No, it's, this is the banana color, my bad. So this is the darker shade, Kiss Pro Touch. So I'm gonna go in, put that on, let it bake, and then I'm gonna do my brows first. always do my eyeshadow and then I go in with my foundation just because I feel like eyeshadow can get messy so I like to clean it up like basically by doing my foundation and concealer and all that good stuff so yeah after I bake or put my setting powder on I'll start to do my eyebrows next so so yeah, I'm gonna just go in and clean them up. And my bad, this is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is my holy grail. Like, I don't use no other concealer. I've never used any other concealer but this. Like, and it's the color Warm Honey. Like, it's my favorite. I use this concealer for everything. Like, my color corrector, like, everything. I love it. I also use it sometimes when I do my contour. I'll use the darker shade. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go in on my eyebrows and clean them up. Yeah, we're gonna go in now and just do our face before we do our eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna blend out this powder with this BH Cosmetics fluffy brush. And then I am gonna blend out my eyebrows. I really don't ever use nothing special to blend out my eyebrows. I just do like this. I just use my finger. First, I go in with my um, pore filler. This is Ruby Kisses. I, Y'all, I get mostly all my makeup products from either the Beauty Supply, Walmart, Walgreens. Like, I don't do the most 
I don't know, I feel like you can use products that don't cost that much and still achieve an amazing look. I've never really had any problems with how my face looks like. I don't know, but anyway, yeah, this is Ruby Kisses. This is from the Beauty Supply, and I know it look crazy. It's really dirty, but this is called the Never Touch Up. <laughs> Sorry, y'all, my sister was looking in here. <laughs> but yeah, this is called the uh, Never Touch Up Ruby Kisses. This is the pore filler, so I'm gonna use that first. So yeah, I'll do that first and then I'll go in with my color corrector. This is another LA girl. I told y'all I use it for everything. This is the color, oh, it's all orange corrector. It's just orange corrector. I'll use this to cover up my dark spots. And I think I learned from YouTube that like the darker you are, I think this is basically common knowledge, but I did learn it on YouTube that the darker you are, you should use like a orangey color corrector or color to go over your dark spots so it can like cancel out the darkness i also use it on my red spots too like if i have a pimple that's kind of red i'll put it on there too Next, what I'll do is just prime my face. I'll put some setting spray on, and this is actually not setting spray. This is toner from Dermalogica, but you can also use it as setting spray. So I use it as finishing and setting spray. Like it works really good. I don't ever have a problem with my makeup like fading away. Like this makes my makeup stay on for a really long time. So I'll just go in. After I do that, I'll of course go in with my foundation. Foundation is next, and I'm what I'm using is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. This is in the color D15, which is warm tawny. So, yeah, CoverGirl True Blend. This is the the foundation that they supposedly said was not supposed to smear, and honestly, it smears, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, it transfers. It definitely transfers. Let me just tell y'all, so be careful out here <laughs> when you hug people. <laughs> I ain't no good, but not for real shit. This shit be coming off. Y'all gotta be careful out here in these streets. I hate when that happen, man. I hate when I hug somebody and I get my makeup on them. I be so embarrassed, but you know, I'm the type of person that I ain't even gonna like not say nothing. Like, I'll keep it real. Like, man, bro, I'm sorry. Like, I got his makeup on your shirt. I, when I hugged you, it got off. Like, I'll tell people. gonna go in and blend my foundation out and this is the brush that I always use and I don't know I'm sorry y'all I've never known what this brush is called I have to look into it and I got this on Amazon it came in a pack it was only like $20 they also sell these at the beauty supply store and I love the way that they like I don't know just look like it puts it on so good like So yeah, next I'ma just go in, after I put my foundation on, I go back in with my concealer and I put it under my eyes. And then under my nose. And I kinda like to get like right, 
around the corners of my nose too so it can all just like kind of come together. So I'm going to use the same brush to blend out my concealer. The same kind of brush, not the same exact brush. So now I'm going to go in and bake it. So we already know I didn't go in and put the rest of the concealer on my eyelid. So we're going to use this as an eyelid primer. It just helps the shadow go on better, more pigmented gives you a better look I guess and I am going to go in and blend this out with a beauty blender and I know I said all my beauty blenders are dirty but it's my face and just for the sake of this video we're gonna use it so whatever The girls uh, tutorial that I watched on YouTube, like her base, her main color was like a lime green. So we gonna mostly use that. And then like the rest of her face was like super highlighted and like um, a blush color. Like I'll, I'll show y'all, y'all will see what I'm talking about. So don't judge my makeup palettes. Like I said, I'm cheap. Most of my shit is like super cheap. This is really old, but I still got it. And it's still like, look how much I have left. So this is actually, this is my, oh, I'm struggling y'all. I love this brand. This is BH Cosmetics. This was my very first makeup palette. And yes, I still have it. Y'all can see my ring light in the background, my bad. So this is the BH Cosmetics 88 color palette. And I love it. Like there's every color in here. And you, I don't know. So, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a color from the 120 color palette because it has a lot more for me to choose from. I'm going to start with a lime green first. So this is a little fluffy brush I'm gonna use. This is Nika Nika K New York. This is a this is a brand that I got from the beauty supply store. Again, of course, that's my favorite place to shop. Um, so yeah, we're gonna just go in with like a lime green. smaller fluffy and do the color from this 88 BH Cosmetics palette. So I think I'm gonna do, I know I got a lot going on right now, but I think I'm gonna do this one. And I know this is really small, but I just wanted to see if it made a difference. It's not, like, I don't know. Okay. It's okay, I ain't gonna trip because we're gonna get this color on my eyelid. 
I think it's just because I'm using these super rinky dink palettes and these colors aren't coming on as good as I would like. But we're gonna make it work. We are going to make it work, honey. And I'm still gonna like, I don't know, I feel like this actually might work a lot better. So. The girl, she really like, packed it on her lid. She put some right here and then connected it. just gonna drag the same color down. What she did next is she went in with some uh, blush. So she took like a really coral uh, color, Lord, a really coral colored blush. Try to say that three times fast. And she like put it on her, of course, blush line, her contour line. She contoured her nose with it. So that's what we're gonna do. And this is a blush from um, Bodyography, but this is um, Bodyography in the color blush. Well, no, I'm stupid. This is blush in the color crush. Okay, so I'm gonna use this. Okay, okay. so I'm gonna use this. Okay, maybe not. I'm gonna use this brush, and this is just a random brush. I don't know, it's not a brand, it was from Five Below. My sister's got it for me. So, thank you, y'all. So, I'm gonna use this. <laughs> So these look, this looks more like the color she used. I don't know what that was, but I just tried to use. But I did hear that Bodyography's makeup is not all that. But this is actually another Bodyography palette, so I might need to shut up before I apply this. Okay, there we go. So this is coming out. Yeah, this one is a little bit better.
make sure it's blended. Yeah, it look kind of crazy right now, but it'll come together. So she did the same thing on her nose too. So I'm gonna go on with a smaller brush and contour my nose. I'm gonna use this angle brush. This is from e.l.f. and I got this from Walgreens and this is just an angle brush. You can use it for anything. And I'm gonna <clears throat> go in and contour my nose with this. She left this part blank. So it is kind of coming together. So I'm gonna do my eyeliner off camera because I really hate doing liner. Like I never can get it right. So to save myself the trouble and embarrassment, I'm just gonna do it off camera. So yeah, I'll see y'all in a second. And then now I'm gonna go in and I think I'm gonna start my freckles now just cause, um, I don't know, just cause I want them to like be drying before I, um, or while I put my lashes on. I'm sorry, y'all, I'm losing my train of thought. So basically, she just went in and did like a whole bunch of cute little Christmas designs. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see. crazy but I don't know I tried <laughs> I'm not the best artist in the world so hopefully I can make this side look a little better but that is ridiculous
Okay, got my Christmas freckles on. Got a little ho ho ho. Little candy cane outline I'm gonna fill in. So while that's drying, I'm going to do my lashes. So I have these 22 millimeter, millimeter lashes that I got from my cousin. I've already used them before, so I'm just recycling them. And yes, I do use lashes multiple times. Just like I'll use product until it's gone. I'll use my lashes until I feel like they are no more good. So I don't use lash glue. I use hair bonding glue. This is the best glue that I feel like you can use for your lashes because your lashes will stay on for days. And I mean it. Like, I want, when I, when I put my lashes on and I tug at them, I want them to be stiff. Like, I want them to be stuck to my face. So I don't play them lash glue games. Like, I don't use lash glue. I don't see the purpose in it. It don't. It don't hold it good enough for me. I need a stronger hold and this, this bond glue that I use is probably the best thing to use for your lashes, in my opinion. So yeah, I'ma just go ahead and put my lashes on. And what I do is, um, I learned this also on YouTube a while ago and I forgot who it was that I watched the tutorial, whose tutorial it was, but they cut their lashes in half before they put them on. And I found that that really works a lot better for me than it does when I try to put it on as one big strip. It's just easier. I try to mostly put the inner corner <clears throat> half on first because sometimes I be finding that like if I put on the outer corner half of the lash first, it'd be really hard for me to get my lash to stick on the inside of my inner corner when I am putting on the inner corner half of the lash. So it might be easier to do it this way, like this way. Like the inner corner first and then the outer corner second. things that I got going here so I'm gonna do my candy canes first because I got my white liner the closest to me sorry y'all I got a text message I'm filming on my phone by the way so I'm gonna fill in this um this candy cane freckle first I'm gonna use this white liner this is um also from the beauty supply this is kiss new york brand well, yeah kiss new york and this is just the white lip liner pencil I'm going to use for my face but I only use I literally only got this because I always do my water lining white not as bad once I start putting it in. It don't look as crazy. So now I'm going with red. Um, and then I'm going to just use some lip gloss and just use a really small 
liner pencil type thing um, to put the lines on my candy canes. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna just use this little bitty tiny brush like that and then just do my lines with this one. Hopefully, it don't get everywhere because this brush kit is very all over the place. So, yeah, I'm gonna just fill in the lines on my candy cane. It actually came out really cute. You can't tell, but. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. <clears throat> okay, so that is that. Oh yeah, I'm also gonna do that to my little, um, what are these things called on my face? I forgot already, but I'm gonna do that to these. I'm gonna color them inside of these. face paint I got from a dollar store. Um, I think I'm gonna just use it for the sake of the video because I don't have any other choice. I don't have any other cream other than these eyeshadows that I doubt will go on my face. It's pigmented to that. So if I can get this face paint open, that would be nice. Okay, there we go. So yeah, I'm gonna just sorry for that guys. That was a call from my mommy. So um, I actually did this one off camera, but I used the same green um, face paint that I was just showing y'all that I got from the dollar store. So I'm just gonna go in and fill in the other one now. So I'm gonna go in with the same face paint palette and use the yellow one this time to fill in my stars. This is how the freckles came out. They're not perfect, but they don't look terrible either. So I'm pretty proud of the way they came out. So I think for this one, I'm gonna use this white highlighter that I really like. This is the Anastasia Glow Kit. And I think I'm gonna just use this white to kind of just accent and highlight what I already have going on. getting phone calls so the video keep cutting off but what I'm doing now is just putting that same color highlighter in my inner corners and I'm trying to speed this up for y'all because I know we've been here for a while so I added the highlighter on the side I did a little bit on my top lip I'm also going back in with the same color blush and do um to my top lip. I feel like she had more blush on her face. Oh yeah, now I'm just gonna add the white on my waterline and then I'm gonna go in and do my freckles with the same exact color. So let's get to that part. Blush to my, um, my nose. 
Cause it's supposed to be like super blushy, like super hot, like. The circles aren't perfect. <laughs> I told y'all I'm not an artist, but I really feel like I really did good with this. Like, okay, so that's done. Now we're just gonna go in, last but not least, we're gonna just do our lips. So I'm gonna do my, oh, you know what, I lied. We still have to contour. Okay, so I'm gonna do Vaseline while we contour, just so my lips can get moist. Okay, so my contour palette is not out here. I think I am just gonna go in with the same blush and just contour with it, cause I really don't care at this point. I think it'll be cute with the blush. Off. Don't judge me. I'm not. There's no telling what y'all gonna see. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just go around my edges of this. And last but not least, we're finally to the lips. So for this specifically, I wanted to do a really cute, like festive red lip, like with a darker lip liner um so that's what we're gonna do so other lipstick though, a lip gloss. I'm gonna just blot that out because that looks ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna try this red lipstick. It's a little darker. This is another Bodyography lipstick. This is called Cherry. I think it's just like a cherry red lip gloss, honestly. This one not as bad. It's not as bad, but I am gonna line my lips with something darker because I don't like that. the finished product so this lighting is kind of shitty but yeah
sama ho 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 sama ho 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 nah,